welcome to the RPM demonstration video on shipping and invoicing contracts. In our last demonstration video, we showed you how to set up an RPM contract and we brought it all the way through to printing. Well, now we need to go ahead and ship the actual backhoe onto this contract, as well as the hard hat, take that out of inventory, and then go ahead and invoice for, let's say, the first period. Now, if you'll notice on my screen here to the right, we have a next dates fact box. This particular fact box will show you when you have specific um, shipments, invoices, receipts, or credits that are due. So as you can see, there are three lines to ship, three lines for invoicing. So before we go ahead and ship a backhoe, we do need to go ahead and grab one out of our yard. So one option for you is to go ahead and print a pick ticket. This is an internally facing document. Okay, so this is not shared with customers. But I'm just going to print it on screen here so you can see. It gives the person uh, the ability to go ahead in the yard and write down which particular unit they grabbed for the backhoe, as well as, you know, indicate that they've grabbed a hard hat as well. So once again, a pick ticket is an internal uh, document that you can print optionally. Now, the act of shipping, though, is done by going to your process button at the top of the contract and choosing the shipping and receiving option. In our shipping and receiving screen, the system automatically defaults in what it's expecting to ship as of this date, January 27th. And you'll notice here, I've got my backhoe, it is not selected. And the reason for that is because we haven't yet chosen an individual unit. So here, I've got the backhoe subcategory. When I click into the unit number field, it lists for me the available units uh, in that particular location. So let's just say it was this uh, uh, 10,001 unit that we're grabbing. Now, when I go to post this, okay, this is the act of posting this will take the actual unit out of stock and assign it to this contract. However, if I go to the posting button and I say, okay, I'm deliberately going to get an error message um, because if you recall from the unit video, we can specify that a meter reading is required before I ship it out the door. That way, if you want to charge for excess usage or uh, manage your plan maintenance activities, we can capture that reading. So right here, it tells me that I don't have one as of that day. So over here to the right, and the meter reading found, it shows no, but if I click on that, I can get right to the meter reading table, capture that reading as it goes out the door. Let's say it had 1300 hours on it, and now it shows that I have a meter reading found, and that will let us post that shipment. So once I go ahead and post that, it will take that unit out of stock, assign it to this contract. It will also uh, relieve a hard hat from inventory for this. Now, what that did for us is it created a posted shipment document. Here on the top right, I can choose that number one and it'll bring me to that document. Let's just print this on screen so you can see what this looks like. Now, you'll notice we can capture a signature line um, so that you can have a customer sign off on it once you get there. So if I just open this up a little bit, it shows me, of course, you know, which unit I'm delivering to them, you know, the customer and so forth. Um, at the bottom, you can capture that signature with our digital signature tool. Uh, and then go ahead and store that. So that's our shipment document. That is a customer facing document that can be given to the customer. Multiple copies can be printed if you wish. And then of course now the next step in this contract really is to invoice because here on my next dates it shows I have an invoice due on January 27th. So if I just click that January 27th, it will bring me out to the screen, which allows me to see what is going to invoice. So let's say we're going to invoice for the first 28 day period from January 27th through 223. We're going to invoice for the delivery and for the hard hat. So when I say okay to that, this will now go through and generate an invoice for me. Now I am processing this invoice directly from the contract itself. We do have batch posting capabilities of multiple contracts that you can run on a schedule. So you don't have to worry about going to each contract to invoice. However, we just did it here on the fly right from our contract. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that invoice and let's print this invoice um, as it's shown to the customer. Now, I have a lot of different options available to me. Maybe I don't want to print a signature line, but I do want to print the unit numbers. Let's just preview that on screen make it a little bit bigger for you. So here at the top, you'll see, of 
of course, our company information. Um, you've got your sell to, bill to, and ship to information, the customer's PO uh, information as well. And then down here in the sec in the body of it, we show the backhoe, which individual unit was there, and the serial number. Of course, that 28-day period. Um, I have a section here for remittance information. This is in a setup table, and as you can see, it uses HTML coding. We have colors and uh, bolding available to you, so you can use that for instance for remittance information. And then at the bottom, you'll notice here I've got a subtotal, sales tax, and the total U.S. dollar amount. So. What that did for us is that generated uh, that invoice. And if we look at this invoice and look at the entries that were created, one of the great things about our solution um, is, is if you recall from uh, talking about the subcategory level, we have four levels of tracking down through to the GL for your equipment uh, with a feature called dimensions. And if I drill down into my GL and I see this one rental revenue account for that $2,100, when I go to the dimensions for that, you can see everything that we've captured. So we've got our product line of excavation, we've got our category code of cat, we've got our subcategory of backhoe, the unit itself, as well as capturing the customer, the branch, and the department. So you can now create reports and filter that rental revenue account by any one of those values um, as you're flowing through. And this concludes our demonstration video on RPM shipping and invoicing. Please be sure to check back for other demonstration videos on RPM functionality to learn how we can help your business.